an hour. We expect to cruise at 21,000 feet. For your safety, keep your seatbelts fast and masks on welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for driving. Bye, Dad. We finally made it to Terminal 2. There's a lot of people. There were so many people at 4 a.m. We had to walk on the road to skip all the crowd to enter the airport. All the traffic. There's a lot of people. We have to like put our cart on the road. When flying domestically, before even entering the airport, you have to present your plane ticket and your ID. Two. Uh, <laughs> With all the travel restrictions going away, traveling this time of the year was so busy. We were flying with Philippine Airlines because it was the cheapest flight we could find going to Bicol. There's so many people here checking in. Everyone's flying again. Mostly locals. Yeah. Mostly locals. I don't see that much tourists flying domestically just yet, but yeah, yeah. not until we get to our diving area, which is uh, Don Sol. Spotted a boot, that thing. A whale shark. We're all getting ready to jump. And uh, in deep also. Let's just wait and see. The time right now is like about 4 a.m. in the morning. Very busy. You can imagine how busy it gets we've done in the afternoon. I'm pretty sure it gets a lot busier in the afternoon. Look at the board. There's so many flights happening. In general, it's always best to ask. I noticed the line was very long going to be called, so I asked around if there was a shorter line we can go to. And believe it or not, there were so many counters that were open to the rest of the flights. Welcome to Terminal 2. This is where all the domestic flights happen. And it's so busy. Everyone's probably going to Boracay. We're going to Legazpi. And it's very interesting to see the airport come to life again. This was not the case years ago or last year. from the both of us. I'm so grateful my dad drove us here. So around at around 3 a.m. I was trying to get a grab and it was like 15 minutes later still no grab available. So it's um it's a bit kind of crazy to think that if, if you're not able to book a grab what other options are there for you to commute to the airport. We could have tried to stand outside our house to, to hail a cab but um, as we were driving out of the village, it did not see any cabs, nor were there any jeepneys. So it's, um, I'm really glad that my dad was there to save both our flights and our lives, I guess, by walking around uh, Terminal 2 departure area here at the Naia Airport. It's very interesting because I was, I didn't know what to expect. I was thinking there might not be a lot of people just yet, but I guess in a good way, uh, traveling is sort of going, well, I would say it's back to normal because it's so busy at uh, like half three in the morning. And we booked this flight, in case you're wondering why it's so early, it's because it's the cheapest flight there was going to the Gaspi. And it was like a difference of 2,000 pesos, two to 3,000 pesos. If we booked a flight that was in the afternoon, there's going to be, well, it's going to be more expensive, but I also have a funny feeling that the this airport might even be more crowded so in a way I'm, I'm glad that we booked it even if it was a bit um yeah crazy this morning not finding any any grab or transportation and but going around the airport it's very nice because you can also refill your flasks or your water jugs Wow. 
there's warm and cold water available and that's filtered, that's clean. And then also there's a lot of food options. I saw, well, there's some Filipino food, but also I saw like a Singaporean little food stall there. And I think there's a Vietnamese food stall. I'm not sure what Vin Vin is. And then, of course, in the Philippines, we're so Americanized. There is a Krispy Kreme. And the line is pretty, pretty long also. So uh, I'm just shocked that there's no McDonald's or Jollibee Airport. You know, to bother, yeah. But it's, you know, it's, it's a sort of thing that I suppose people will have for breakfast. But um, also, if people are flying back to the province, I think they would be buying Dunkin' Donuts also. I think they used to have Dunkin' Donuts here too. But there's not. But anyway, that's a little sneak peek of Naia Terminal 2 departure area. We're flying using Philippine Airlines! Yay! <laughs> They called it revenge travel because people haven't been traveling for the past two and a half years. The airport was so massively busy. That's alright because we are going to be boarding the plane very soon. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay, you wanna, just want to stand here? In the front here? Yeah. Or here? Oops. Or here? Getting to our plane, we had to board a shuttle. It wasn't linked directly to the actual waiting area. I was excited because sunrise was about to happen and I'm looking forward to a sunrise flight. Looking at the plane from the shuttle, I actually thought we were taking this large plane, but no. <laughs> this was the plane we were taking. It's a much smaller one with the propellers sticking out. For the past two years, I've been flying outside the Philippines, so it's taken me a while to try to remember what it's like flying domestically again. to show you what it's like taking off and landing I am looking forward to this flight it's been so long since I've traveled around the Philippines I hope you enjoyed this video on a little insight of what it's like in the airport see you soon in the next video bye